Welcome to Great Mother Speaks. I'm Tammy Taylor, your manifestation muse. And today we're talking about our deepest and truest emotional state in a day and age when addiction, pain avoidance reigns supreme. The pain of us not marrying our intentions to our actions. Well, the Scorpio new moon ain't got time for that. The new moon is the time of emotional gestation and spiritual feeling. The lunar phase indicative of the fallow season when we need to leave the field dormant so it can regenerate the rest. It is purposeful rest. The kind of purposeful rest that comes from sincere lovemaking. As indeed for but two days or so, the moon great mother energy and the sun great father God closely embrace one another in the sign of Scorpio. This happens once a year and in every new moon great mother father God recommit their vows so to speak. And their vows are basically threefold. Emotionally, the new moon and deeply on a spiritual level help us articulate our emotions in loving and sincere ways so that our unique creativity can shine through. They recommit to show us how to turn pain into gain and how to release perfectionism. You know, um, the new moon, um, this darkness of spirit before it materializes into form in Scorpio wants to take us deeply into our soul by scaling the depths of our fearful and painful emotions in order to reemerge with greater clarity, balance and confirmation of what to hold on to. From the harvest and hunter moons we've had recently to fertilize the field and what roots need to be pulled to die. This is how we are able to marry our intention with actions. Be sure to clock your moon sign with the birth chart calculator below. You may already know your western or um, tropical moon sign, and I encourage you to use the Vedic calculator to find your sidereal or joytish moon sign. That's the Vedic. If you are highly sensitive, empathic, or intuitive, you'll find that it's about 24 degrees before your western moon sign. And if you're going by the Vedic astrology, the new moon is in the final degrees of Libra and the first degrees of Scorpio signified by the nakshatra Vishaka. It means manifestation, new opportunities, sexual gratification, determination. And so that's why we uh, say new moon in the month. This is the new moon November reading as opposed to the new moon in Scorpio or Libra. This is a vibrational reading with great mother frequencies and she's speaking to us all. But of course, communication is the accurate uh, giving and receiving of information. So in order to uh, receive accurate information from Great Mother, we have to first give it to ourselves, don't we? We have to understand where we're coming from emotionally. So I encourage you to do that. Please note these readings are also for your Rahu. Well, cancer and- moon signs. We're going to see what Great Mother is speaking to you, whether you are working from the Western vision and perspective of the moon that says that this new moon is in Scorpio, which means it would be in your fifth house. And so I feel that for you, Cancer Moon people being ruled by the moon and your great I am, your great father energy, the light that shines through for you here, we have light in the moon, uh, the lunar cycles through 
the reflection of the sun. And so wherever we see light is where we see the I am energy coming forward, that emotional energy. The intuitive energy, of course, is through the shadows of great mother energy. And that is that higher knowing, what you know, what you know. This is in the fifth house for you. And so this is having to do with understanding the motives of other people on a very deep, intuitive level. It also may have to do with... Um, Actually, um, let's see here, some power struggles as it relates to that, okay? And so um, really getting clear about who and what you're dealing with intuitively. If you're working with the Vedic and you are Cancer Moon, well, then you're looking at your fourth house and it's actually in Libra for you. And so this is about bonding, you know, how you're connecting with people and of course, how you are expressing your power as well. This is a vibrational reading from Great Mother. It doesn't matter to her, but it does matter to us where we are. If you're highly sensitive or intuitive, I encourage you to look at the information box below again to find out what your Vedic sign is. Okay, Great Mother is coming through for you cancer moon people and it looks like she's saying that right now as of this moment in terms of marrying the intentions that you have so whether your intention is to really be clear about how to work with your power how to own your power as it relates to others and to act in the way that you feel best serves you or whether you are designing a way to bond with someone in a way that serves you. You're feeling quite fearful right now and you're feeling like you are alone. There may be uh, many people around you giving you advice, um, recommendations, recommendations, suggestions as to what to do. And you're just kind of feeling like, uh, I don't know, you know, um, you know, I, I just, this, I just feel like I'm at my wit's end. I've really tried to deal with this situation, to deal with my financial situation, to deal with my health situation, to deal with this relationship. And it's really just a power struggle. And I'm scared about, you know, what's going to happen. And so what we see here in the Kali card is the first quarter moon. The first quarter moon has to deal with actions based on decisions and how we are facing our challenges. And so the challenge here, of course, is to always remember that we are divine children of the Great Mother, Father God. And so Great Mother is encouraging you by that shadow to stay in that intuitive knowing just as Dorothy did. These cards are based on the 49 scenes of the Wizard of Oz. And in these scenes, they show us how to lovingly detach, how to grieve, how to let go of something that uh, we need to in order to um, live our highest good, in order to um, accept the bonding that we know is best for us, in order to uh, really be clear about the motivations of others and act accordingly. Deal with what is. And so that's what you're doing. You are dealing with what is, but it's very uh, frightening to you. And so since this is a half moon, there's great father energy in saying that great I am presence. Cancer energy says I feel. And so I feel energy does not have the word am in it. Again, it's ruled by the moon, so it's very vibrational. And so the Great Mother, Father, God, this dance with this first quarter moon is saying to you with the goddess Kali, this incarnation of Great Mother energy, to transform, to transcend this fear. You have that ability and you intuitively feel that within yourself. They are confirming that for you, Cancer Moon people. Next, you have uh, the transformation card. And the transformation card is all about that intention to stay in that vibrational knowing that you are a divine child of the great mother, father, God, and act on it. That card is the Jesus card. And with the Jesus card, this is the law of soul guide and 
guardianship. And so the guidance that we have through the Jesus card has to do with that Christ consciousness. Again, that consciousness that transcends the illusion of this world and reminds us that we are joint heirs with Christ, regardless of what your spiritual tradition is. This consciousness came to the planet to teach us that we are all children of the great mother, father, God. And as such, we are worthy to guidance from our angels, guides, and ancestors. We are worthy of of health, happiness, and wholeness. So along our yellow brick road path, whatever it may be in terms of that journey to take our power back from the situation, trying to convince us either through a power struggle or through an issue that we're not quite bonding with someone, we're not quite being able to determine what type of contractual relationship to have with someone it might be. Uh, we're not really sure what we're going to get out of the situation. The scales aren't balanced. Again, if this is that Libra moon for you, there are opportunities for you to transform this fear by simply acknowledging that you are a divine child of the great mother, father, God, and what that means. That means that you always have access to guidance and guardianship you're protected so whatever you decide from the first quarter moon card of kali and transforming your fear as a divine child of the great mother father god you will through this third quarter moon which is the other half moon about release about forgiveness about letting go be able to do that with that assistance just ask and finally, what Great Mother does not want Cancer Moon people to overlook is that she knows that this indeed is a challenge. And he knows, Great Mother, Father, God, you have three cars that are half and half Cancer. And so this is, again, a first quarter Moon card about actions decisions and facing challenges. This is a Sphinx card. And so the Egyptian goddess God, uh, this androgynous God of when the student is ready, the teacher appears. There's a lesson in this for you, Cancer Moon. She doesn't want you to overlook the lesson for your continued growth, development and her nurturing of your intuition. Remember, a great mother is the Holy Spirit, that still small voice. So the message here being ruled by the moon is to trust that, is to know that it will guide you, that even as strange as it may seem, it is exactly what you need at this time. And the people involved with you, it is for everyone's highest good for you to follow it. Facing the challenge in this particular scene of The Wizard of Oz has to do with Dorothy being in the castle of the Wicked Witch of the West. Remember that? And remember that she was trying to take her shoes and Dorothy said, just take them, take them, but give me back Toto. Toto symbolized Dorothy's intuition. So she knew that she needed that intuition above all else. Even if Great Mother, symbolized by Glinda the Good Witch, had given her those shoes as her birthright, reminder, the red root chakra of her birthright to happiness, health, and wholeness, she could not live without her intuition. Yet, and still, we are worthy of both divine children of the Great Mother, Father, God. We are worthy of having both our intuition and our shoes. And isn't that what Dorothy ended up with? She doesn't want you to overlook that as you face this challenge and you own your intuition, you will have both as confirmed by Great Father Energy on the other half here to support you energetically with what you are feeling and that I am vibration and the frequency from Great Mother Father God to support you in facing this challenge. Anything that's coming against you with motives that are less than worthy based on your integrity and the energy that you're bringing to it will not succeed. Just as with the Wicked Witch of the West, she was shocked, wasn't she? So no worries, Cancer Moon people. You are guided and you have guardianship all around you. Simply ask and you will be supported through your intuition and your inner knowing.
I want to thank you for watching and remember that the 49 scenes symbolize the bricks that help us to transcend those fears and to actually be able to emancipate ourselves from the habit of perfectionism, fear of our shadows and um, our pain avoidance and the patterns that result from us uh, continuing with these unproductive patterns as a result of not reaffirming within ourselves that we are divine children of the great mother, father, God. We are just here on a journey to strengthen our hearts, our minds, and our courage. For more information, please click on the playlist for who these videos are for and visit greatmotherspeaks.info for more detailed information specific to moon signs as well as north and south nodes. I am a life coach as well as the inventor of this deck. Great Mother loves you and I do too. Great Mother Speaks. I am Great Mother, Holy Spirit, Yin, Divine Mother, Cosmic Moon, Deep Space, the Moon,